Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a photo editing video, so a little bit different from what I normally do, but I've gotten a lot of questions on my Instagram asking how I edit my photos and everything, and so I thought that it would be fun to do a video on it. Today's video in particular is going to be about taking things or people out of your photos. So I do this for a couple of my photos just because sometimes it might be too distracting if there's like a person right behind me or like other things that I just don't want to be in the picture. So I'm going to show you guys what I do and I thought it would be a good start to the series just because this is kind of how I got started with editing and like having more fun with my photos. So this is what I do. I'm going to show you guys two different ways that I do this. One on my iPhone, that's free, and then one on Lightroom slash Photoshop. So with that being said, if you're interested in learning how to take things out of your photos, then keep on watching. Okay, so the picture that I'm going to be doing is this picture from Bali of my friend on the beach. I already kind of edited this on Lightroom just because it was really dark before. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I edit on Lightroom, I can also do that. But after you open up the photo on Photoshop, go to this tool, which is the cloning tool. So the clone stamp tool and I just click that. Look at the objects or the people that you want to take out of the photo. So I really want to take out like these two people are right here so I'm just gonna zoom in and show you guys how I do this so the brush that I normally use is just a standard circle brush and you can adjust the hardness if you want so if you have 100% hardness that's just that just means that there's no blur on the brush so when you clone it's gonna be like very very sharp so it sometimes looks too fake if you do that so I do like to have a little bit of softness in there and you can adjust the size depending on how much you want to clone. So I think I'm going to go around 50-ish for this. And what you want to do is you want to click Alt-Option to copy a section um, in the photo that you would want to clone on top of this man. So I'm going to clone this side of the ocean. So I'm going to click. And now when I drag it, it's copying that exact area. So it's cloning that. And I play around with this. I try and get it as natural looking as possible. That is what that looks like now. So that man is now gone. Um, so I'm just going to do the same thing over on this side for this person. And it's pretty self-explanatory. I feel like once you get the idea of how to do it, it's really easy to do. So I'm also going to clone a part near him just so it looks more balanced. And then I'm just gonna clone that on top of him. And he's gone! And normally this is a lot easier with things like beaches and waves and stuff like that, um, or sand. So like for this rock, for example, if I don't want that, I'm just going to clone that out. If I don't want these rocks, I can do the same. I would just copy this section and then just clone that out. I'm just going to go ahead and clone out all these rocks because why not? And I'll show you guys the end result. So I finished cloning and taking out things from the photo and I like where it's at right now so I'm gonna put up the final picture that I actually did back when I edited this the first time just so you guys can see the before and after not only in terms of the color editing and everything but also just the cloning and taking people out so that is the first way that you can take people out of your photos and take objects out of your photos and I'm gonna show you guys another photo that I did this to so this is the before photo, this is the prog photo, and this one I kind of went overboard, to be honest. Like, I'm surprised that I put in so much time and effort for this one. This is the before photo, and then this is the after photo. So I took out every single person in the background, and I'm just going to show you guys a little clip of me doing that, just because it took a long time. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit, just so you get an idea of how I do this when there's like more people, and when there's like architecture involved and everything. So I'm just going to do the same thing. You're going to select the clone stamp tool and kind of change the softness and size to your liking. And I'm just going to go in 
on this side first. I like to get in really close when there's something like this involved. So once I get closer, I'm going to change the size and then I'm going to do the alt option button and then I click that and then I'm just going to move it down. stop right there but as you can see that's kind of how I did this entire thing I just kept doing that all throughout um, and I got rid of all the people so that is the first way that you can take people out of your images so the second way that I like to do this is on my iPhone and using the app Snapseed so I'm gonna show you guys one photo that I'm just gonna edit. I usually like to do this method when I'm in a rush or if it's just a really simple and easy photo um, and just like a really easy like editing cloning situation because sometimes it is really hard and it takes a lot of time. But I'm just gonna show you guys a really simple one. So in this photo, my hair is in on my forehead and I don't like that. And so I'm gonna use the healing tool on Snapseed to just take that out. The first thing you wanna do is just go to tools go to healing and then you just want to run the brush over whatever part you want to get rid of and the app is gonna try and clone different parts of that photo to mask whatever you're trying to get rid of and so it is more of a trial and error process compared to the Photoshop way to do this but it is simple and if you just wanted to fix something really quickly then this is a really good way to do that this is the final before and after including all the edits that I made before and after I did the healing and everything and this is another example of a photo that I used the healing tool with um, on Snapseed and I'm honestly surprised with myself with how well this one turned out because I just tried to do it again to show you guys but it was so hard so I know I definitely spent like way too much time on this one but it just goes to show that the healing tool on Snapseed works just as well it just takes a lot more time to do so it just depends on what your options are and that is the end of this video I hope that you guys were able to learn something new from it and I was able to teach you something new if you want me to do more Photoshop editing Lightroom tutorials be sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys next week bye Whoop!